Greetings, my V family. I hope you love the t-shirt, all right, of the face of the tiger, all right, to be a warrior. This is your chief. Welcome back to Instagram Live. Let me read some name. Priyotashashan, RJ Mohan, Kumaran, Sonam Maxout, Banagar Kartike, Malitskil, Vladimir, Krishna, Kalpana, Praveen. All right, uh, Ram, love you, bro. Shivani, uh, Krina, Krina Davani, Aditya, Duta Saumak, Sunija. I'm just doing some shout outs to people who are watching me live right now all over the world. All right, the V official, I don't know who it is, Claire, Lorin, okay, uh, Sagar, Bishwa Bapsangari, Sham, Danani, Abhishek. Amazing week on, I know. I'll be coming to Pakistan soon. Gaurav, love you. Alright, Satish Vijay, Shivani again, love you. QNet official, must be Rita in Hong Kong. Alright, and uh, Spectacle Girl, 2406. That's my birthday, 24th of June. Alright, Shamam Dani, Prashant Mudalgi. The VTube, good morning. The Fiery Fighter Girl. <laughs> Maheshwar, that's Mukesh, Deshpandek Shiji, Gana Gauda, QNet official once again. All right, Raghu, Rocky, love you, bro. I am Maz, Assalamu alaikum. All right, BMW M393. Oh, what could that mean? Manish, Amul, Arif. 1017 Tagwa Karar JR Maya Apu, how are you? Love you. All right, uh, Rajat Chowdhury, Miss A N K S, love you. Akshay Kumar, the actor. Uh huh. All right, uh, Diljit. Okay, guys, Sudan Shu, David. All right, Pawan. Okay, now full. Narges, how are you? Narges Ryback, how are you, dear? Thanks for being online. All right, Yogesh. All right, Diana Vimal. Dayalan Vimal. QI Wafa. Hi, Wafa. All right, Deepika, love you too. Sumit. Rakesh Kumar. Yusuf Basim, Assalamu alaikum. All right, Assalamualaikum, Basha, Al Al Zahir, Artemio. All right, Abilesh, love you, Ankit. All right, love you guys. Akant, the dreamer, a complete mess. <laughs> and once again, JR Maya, my brother, Mano Rajkumar. Okay, all right, guys, thank you for logging on from all over the world. I'm making this Instagram live the week, uh, getting into week 38, I believe. Yes, we are in week 38. We just finished week 37, if I'm not mistaken. And this has been the most amazing week ever because of uh, week 38, yes. Because of VCon. VCon, VCon, VCon. And welcome to Instagram live by your one and only chief. In bed with you. And a shout out to Trevor Kuna, our former CEO of QNET, for getting me this 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 uh ice hockey team, the Winnipeg uh, Jets. Alright, he got me this cap. I'm making it a tradition to wear one of my caps um, every Instagram live and I have a huge collection. So if you ever want to send me a gift, send me a cap. Alright, and I'll be happy to wear it during Instagram live. Uh, guys, VCon, 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 simply unbelievable. That's all I have to say. All right. And for all of you who logged on from all over the world to watch the great ones, Japadas Bismarck, Dato Sri, Vijay Ishwar, and all the V partners, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for entrusting us with your downlines trusting us that we will deliver the magic of VCon, which we did. I believe 
this week on reaching 200,000 warriors of Dato Sri Vijay around the world has broken every record on in MLM industry with regards to a virtual event. And before we started, me and number one, Dave Joel, we partner Dave Joel, we were asking ourselves constantly whether this can happen. Can we do the magic? And, and I'm a believer, and you know this, I believe everything is possible. And I was still thinking, how are we going to reach people? How are we going to reach their hearts? How are they going to feel the, the heart of the founders? Um, and then day one, and that night, when I, when I came up after the amazing performance, the Chiefs Gala show, as Kuna put it, all right, I knew at that moment, the magic is going to happen this week on. And that three days, the intensity, focus of the in-service, uh, the corporate warriors uh, of QNet all over the world, Q Lifestyle, the V who put this event together, thank you to all the corporate uh, boys and girls, my beautiful warriors of the V, you guys created magic, all right? And QNet, thank you, Q Lifestyle, thank you for the product sessions. I've been getting so much feedback that this has been one of the best product sessions around the world. Uh, a big shout out to all our QNet warriors in all the offices around the world. All right, thank you for your dedication, your work to help us at HQ put together this VCon. And um, VCon is still supposed to be going on here and here in your hearts every single day. And uh, I'm amazed how much I learned about technology. I'm not a techie, as you know, but I learned so much about the internet that the world is connected actually through a cable which is underwater from continent to continent. And that's how the internet travels. I, I, I learned so much about broadcasting, okay? Um, and I, I had to learn from, from people who know this better and I remember that Dato Sri Vijay told me 22 years ago, the only way you remain relevant, the only way you remain competitive, and the only way you can remain effective as an upline is to practice what you preach. And this week on, I truly practice empty my cup because we are experts at running week on at the arena. But I had to empty my cup to learn how to run a virtual VCon, a digital VCon, all right, online. And on this Instagram Live, I want you guys to listen very, very carefully. You heard my Wednesday message, which I recorded uh, the night of closing of VCon, where I said, we have lit a fire inside of you guys. And I wanted to share with you on this Instagram Live, my take back from this week on, all right? And these are lessons that I have learned, okay? Watching how amazingly the team put this week on together. And I'm going to share a few lessons with you, which I hope you will apply in your network, in your life, okay? And uh, always remember these lessons. The first most important lesson I learned is that no matter how strong your relationship is with your downlines, with your team, with your uplines. Never take that relationship for granted. That you always have to re-establish trespass. That even if you have known somebody for 20 years, never take that relationship for granted. All right? You have to re-establish trespass, reaffirm your commitment to that relationship, your love for the person, your loyalty to that person, your gratefulness to that person constantly, consistently. Because the mistake we make in managing relationships is that we think, okay, you're my brother, you're my best friend, you're my downline, you're my leader, you're my wife or husband, all right, brother, um, parents, kids, and you think because that relationship has been, has been established once, it's a done deal. No, you got to re-establish, all right, your 
your heart into that relationship. You got to remind the other person or the other group of people that you are there for them, that you appreciate what they do. All right, and and this is fundamentally important. All right, I that's the first lesson I want to share with you because I work with so many people for twenty two years, and sometimes it's natural for us to take our relationships for granted. All right, and not reestablish that commitment, that love, that loyalty to the other person. So to everyone who worked on Vicon. All right. I want to say thank you. I love you guys. Thank you for watching my back. Thank you for for lifting me up on your shoulders. All right. Because I have been taught by Dr. Sri Vijay that you don't achieve anything alone in this business. That alone you are nothing. All right. Because this business requires people to help you achieve your dreams, your goals. And I just want to share my gratefulness to everyone out there. Who made this VCon possible? From corporate, from in service, Alliance, Coin Service, all right. The 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 QI directors like Jaya Mayo on this call today, um, to the corporate warriors in QNet, the V Lifestyle. Thank you, I, from the bottom of my heart. This VCon could not have been possible without you guys. And I want to say thank you to all of you, my downlines around the world, for logging on and and being committed to this VCon. Without you, there will not be VCon. All right, so thank you to all of you. That's the first lesson. All right, the second lesson I learned that our greatest enemy is not out there. All right, it is our own ego, our greatest enemy, as as Datu Sri taught me, and uh, even written in the Quran for all of my Muslim brothers and sisters. One of the greatest lessons, and I have it on a wall in in, in a copper tuling, that the greatest. Uh, jihad or war is between you and yourself. All right, that you have your greatest enemies within you, that ego, and that ego is a monster if you don't tame it, if you don't control it constantly, it, it will destroy you. A and I realize that the ego is strongest in chaos, in 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 intense moments, in moments where you feel that you are not in control that is when your ego takes over and and makes you into who you not who you are truly not and i realize that it is times of high intensity times of high chaos is where you need to take a deep breath and be in control and don't allow your ego to control you don't lose your cool don't don't forget who you truly are because that moments of you losing your cool with your downlines losing your cool with your uplines losing your cool with your team all right you you actually take 20 steps back in that relationship so constantly remember this there is never a need to lose your cool all right the moment you lose your cool you know your ego is taken over all right so control your ego or not it will control you and those watching who come to ISB to who have attended sessions with the great ones Japa and Datu Sri they always say this our greatest enemy is never out there it is within ourselves the greatest battle that you have to focus on the greatest battle that you have to win is the one within you all right and this ego creates insecurity jealousy fear anger all of this is not something that exists in you you are good you're pure you're happy you're full of love and and radiance of of loyalty and and power to inspire and change lives there can not be negative elements within you you must destroy it and, and you need to control your ego even in your personal relationships husband wife um kids parents brothers and sisters every relationship is measured by whether that relationship at that moment are you in that relationship or is it your ego in that relationship because if your ego gets uh, jumbled up in that relationship it's going to be an ugly scene guys all right so get your ego out of the way all right be you be the real you he intended you to be and this is one of the greatest learnings and evolutions 
that I have experienced learning by watching the great ones like Japa, Datu Sri Vijay, our founders, my mother, God bless her soul. And um, I am proud today that uh, not all the time, my ego is a dangerous bugger, all right, very sneaky, but I try my best to smack him, you know, like, psh, you understand? All right, and uh, to make sure I am in control and my ego is not in control. That's the second very important uh, lesson I learned during this week on. The third lesson I learned is that you cannot exist in this business without surrender to your mentor, to your teacher, to your upline. And not direct upline, depends on your circumstances, but your working upline. That there's no need for you to think. There's no need for you to evaluate your level of intelligence or your contribution if you surrender totally and allow someone to come into your home and build you, all right? Because there's no harm in saying, I will follow you. It doesn't make you a lesser person. There's no harm in edifying the person who built you. And to me, that, that person is Datu Sri Vijay and I have no issue in any form to surrender to him because he built me. Do you understand? He molded me into the chief I am today as your upline. So whatever benefit you are getting today has come from years of him hammering me into shape. You understand? Like a sculptor on, and I was the very stubborn piece of rock. And you must always remember this, that if you do not learn how to surrender to somebody greater than you and recognizing that person as your teacher and mentor in life. And please don't be one of these morons with 55 mentors and 100 mentors, half of them on YouTube and, uh, and read every book and said, oh, this guy changed my life. No, be selective. Choose your mentor. And if your mentor chooses you, start that relationship of studentship. And I realized that you must always be a student, all right? As long as you are a teacher, you must be a student. As long as you are a leader, you must be a follower. If you are purely only a leader, you will self-destruct. If you are a teacher and you are no longer a student, you eventually will become ineffective in teaching people within your organization because who are you learning from? You must learn in order to teach, all right? You must follow in order to lead. So be proud of being somebody's student. Be proud of being somebody's follower. And if you have chosen a magnificent upline like Dato Sri Vijay, and then follow, all right? Follow. And to be a student, to be a follower, you have to learn that you are irrelevant for that time. All right? Because your irrelevance will help you learn faster, grow faster, grow bigger. All right? And always remain a student. Always remain a downline. Only then can you effectively be a great upline. All right? And, and, and all of you, your relationship with your mentor, your relationship with your upline will be one of the most crucial relationships in your journey to financial freedom, in your journey uh, to max out. You, you understand? And this is fundamentally important. And, and be proud of the fact that you are a student. Be proud that you are following somebody because that allows your downlines, your team to see that you have an empty cup, that the willingness of you to evolve and change because you cannot be the final say. If you are the final say, in my experience, watching a lot of uplines who make this mistake is when they achieve some level of success, they achieve some level of, of financial uh, success, they think they made it on their own, all right? And then suddenly they think they are some kind of guruji, you know? All right, and I am the one. Listen to me. I know all the answers. These are the first people who are going to fall flat on their face. I guarantee you. 
all right because you cannot all right you you need to evolve you need to constantly change so always be a student only then can you be a great teacher always be a great follower and only then will you be a great leader that's the third point all right the fourth point which i realize during this week on is that whenever you speak all right and all of you are doing presentations you're doing training you're doing eight basic building blocks some of you are on stage talking to thousands of people and uh, some of you are even talking with 20 people at home or in an office one of your offices somewhere around the world the rule that i learned when i first started to speak and a lot of people come and tell me oh chief you spoke so beautifully no i did not i just spoke but i followed that rule that i've been taught by my upline that as long as you speak from your heart you cannot go wrong so when you see me uh on the broadcast when you see me on the screen all right yes in the beginning i pump you up come on rise up you know all right swedish house mafia but then when i speak at some point i don't remember what i speak i've never 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 prepared before i went on stage in front of the camera in front of instagram because i move my thought process i stop my thought process and i just trust what comes out of my heart and this is what dr steve vj told me when i first started speaking he said speak from your heart then you don't have to remember anything you don't have to plan what you want to say and i watch him i watch japa during this whole uh vicon connect and you could feel their heart and that's why people want to stay with qnet that's why people want to stay with the we because as long as you speak from your heart people will follow because they know you are real that you're not trying to sell them anything you're just telling them the truth that's it all right so that's the fourth thing constantly speak from your heart and even in your personal relationships when you're managing your downlines or uplines and you feel something is wrong and you feel oh i want to say something but i don't want to say it all right because i don't want to hurt their feelings i don't want to say it because it'll cause drama don't because if you don't speak what is in your heart and you suppress it it will lead to toxic feeling you know then you feel bad so as long as you speak with your heart with the intent to clarify with the intent to get clarity with the intent to express how you feel all right to clear the air as we say then do it speak from your heart constantly all right and not everyone is going to agree with what you say not everyone is going to say oh okay thank you you spoke from your heart but you still have to keep speaking just follow one rule speak from your heart speak from your heart speak from your heart speak from your heart all right and you will reach people and people will sign up because they know you are real that you're not only interested in the bv or them you know parting with their money and and signing up with qnet but you're sincere about the intent of changing their lives and making a difference in their lives that they they, they will follow you all right like how all of us millions of us around the world follow that to see vijay in japa all right not because of their skill not because of their strategies but because these are two great men who have built this company for 22 years guys only applying their heart all right and that's why we have the highest level of loyalty from you from all our leaders you saw the v partners on the screen the amazing v partners on day 1 the night when datto asked them why they're still here after 22 years and you heard the answers they didn't speak about money they didn't speak about uh the complain they 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 spoke about how great this organization is that it's built from the heart of people that you actually feel you belong to a family and i want all of you to know that this is a family all right and it doesn't only apply to the network it applies to the corporate guys that everyone in corporate who
who pulled off this vicon, who made it possible, performed the miracle, not because it was in their job description or contract, it's because they did it from their hearts, and I'm so proud of them. All right, so everything you do, all right, when you speak, or everything you do, just do it from your heart, and I promise you, the outcome will be beautiful. Whatever your desire is, will be beautiful. And and the fifth thing, I lost count. Let's assume it's the fifth. Okay, is the dream. And you know, every day two of Econ, I I speak about. Uh, the power of the dream for you to find your dream, and this time it was so difficult. And maybe you don't understand. You see me on TV; it looks good. I'm gorgeous. All right. Okay. I hope your your family uh, loved Vicon as much. Okay. And uh, I was standing there holding the mic, and I I could see Kalai who who does all the uh, who who basically assists me and 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 keeps me sane to put the program together. All right. Uh, AVP Kalai and and I spoke and when I went and started talking about Amma, my mum, shit, I got very emotional, which I usually don't because I'm happy, right, that she's watching over me from heaven and it was the master plan that she had to go home to her creator and uh, it was so emotional because the, you don't understand I'm standing there, right, but everything around me is dark. You only see a little bit of shadows of the cameras. That's how a studio is built. It's not like a bright Vicon arena. And it reminded me so much of how powerful a dream is. And I really pray that you guys found your dream because this journey of continuing, being consistent, pushing yourself every step of the way to reach your dreams. And remember I spoke about dreams and I'm talking about any dream you have, whether it's max out, whether it's 2000 a week, 500 US dollars a week, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a reason. Right? Like Sati said, you know, a reason that is greater than the challenges you're going to face. And and that dream is the most important part of your journey. I want you to understand that what you are embarking on, this journey you're embarking on right now is never going to be easy. It will be constantly filled with an emotional roller coaster, you know, all right? It's going to be filled with challenges and, and people's opinions and morons who say things that are bad about who we are. And the only thing that will keep you sane, the only thing that will maintain sanity and keep you focused is your why, your dream. And I hope that even though it was online, I hope that you remember Latika. I hope that you found your dream because any journey of life means nothing without the power of the dream. And if you found your dream, hold it so tight Fight for it. Protect it. Be a warrior when the morons, all right, I'm going to take this dream away from you because that's what the world is about. The world is a specialist at trying to yank that dream away from you. And you have to be a warrior like this tiger, all right, okay, and, and fight that every step of the way, it's a fight, it's a battle, that you got to be a warrior and, and fight it. And fight it for the right reason. And, and fight it for that why, that, that dream you found. And that dream must be worth it. That dream must be something that remains very uh, visible in your, in your mind, in your heart. And I hope you found your dream. And never let go of that dream. And never let any moron out there, anything, ever, take that dream away from you. All right, and that's that's number five, okay, and finally number six. We'll we'll do six as a magic number randomly, okay. Is that remember that you are not alone. This is something that network marketing can be lonely sometimes. Um, being a leader 
can be a lonely space, right? Facing a rejection is an emotion you cannot share with anyone. And I know that there are moments in your loneliness where your ego, that devil sitting on your shoulder, asks you these questions. Did you make the right decision? Are you sure you want to do this? Will you succeed? Or only a few people make it. Don't listen. And remember that you're not alone. That this is not your fight alone. As much as you are a warrior, there's an army behind you. An army of people who will do anything for you from your downline. So today, after this call, send a message to all your downlines and show your gratefulness because they are your army. All right? Send a message of thanks to your uplines because they are the generals who have fought this battle many times before you to clear that path so that your journey becomes a bit easier. Remember that you have so many V partners and most importantly, you have the founders, you have me as your chief and especially the founders, Japaras Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay, who are never going to stop fighting for your dreams, who are never going to back away from a fight where it involves their downlines. And I've seen this, that they have taken on governments, um, enemies, right, competitors who unfairly tried to slow us down and tried to steal our dream of touching a billion hearts. But, but they never back down that we are led by the greatest warriors. So you have nothing to worry about, guys. We are veterans. We have battle scars, like Japa says, and we are proud of it. All right? We've been fighting for your dreams since 1998, baby. All right? And we have won every battle based on the simple philosophy of truth. All right? That QNET, the V, stands for the truth. All right? The truth is that every man and woman and kid all right, around the world who has a dream and entrust their dream with us, we will fight till death to protect the dream and make sure that dream becomes a reality. So no more fear. Exactly. No more fear, guys. As much as I want you to be a warrior, you're not fighting alone. You have an army behind you. You have an army of the most dedicated people in the corporate world, the V partners, the AVPs, the V councils, the coin service, the alliance, the ISB brotherhood and sisterhood around the world. And we will fight. Right? And whoever who tries to stop us, are you kidding me? Look at us, guys. All right? Who can stop this? Who can stop this? Who can stop Japadas, Bismarck, and Dato Sri, Vijay Ishwaran, guys? Come on! We're going to fight every single step of the way for the truth of everyone deserves a second chance. Everyone who found their dream deserves the right to make it into a reality. So that is my six learnings. And the number six is you're not alone. We are with you. We are with you every step of the way, guys. I love you guys so much. This week on has been unbelievable. Week 38, push yourself to the max. All right, presentation, presentation, presentation. X22 promo is now. Do it now. Repeat for week 38 is there. Make sure you qualify. Make me proud. Week 38, make it a record week for QNET and the V and for you. I love you guys.